The play is about a job interview that starts well and goes very wrong. Um, it's a situation that I think is familiar to a lot of people in which a certain assumption is made of the candidate, um, a preconception, and when the candidate doesn't um, fit this preconception, suddenly the energy in the room starts to change. Um, not, usually nothing is said, but the candidate can just sort of feel the tide turning against him or her, and there's nothing that they can do about it because they're not responsible for the preconception. Um, in this case, uh, she gets to say something about what she's feeling, which is usually, I guess, quite often not the case. And quite often it's all sort of, you know, very polite and smiles all around. And then the candidate goes home and doesn't get the job that he or she is, is highly qualified for. Um, it was, um, I guess it was the play was inspired by this notion that I heard a long time ago for the first time um, that um, sometimes people don't get interviewed for a job if the person handling their CVs can't pronounce their name. Um, and it's something that uh, it took me years of living in this country before I could believe it was true. Um, and the story builds on that um, and explores a reaction to otherness. Um, the particular otherness of people who can't um, be immediately identified as other just by how they look. So there's something I think especially disconcerting um, about the other who dares not to declare his or her otherness simply by how they look. Um, it's also a story that examines whether class and background override ideas of female solidarity in this country. Often they don't, um, but then often, especially in professional environments, and especially in sort of posh and sophisticated and nominally progressive ones, they can. Um, and finally, I guess on, on a final note, um, it allows me to sort of populate this play with female characters, which um, are all sorts. So they're not the sort of um, strong female character, which is something that has been welcome in the dramatic narratives over the past few years, but they're, 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 they're goodies and they're baddies and they're flawed and there's the flawed ones and then there's the righteous ones. And, um, you know, as far as a, a five minute format can allow us to examine and explore all of that.